welcome to the six part series of videos called Minding My Memory. My name is Martina and I'm an occupational therapist working with people interested in learning more about their memory. If you have concerns about your memory, the good news is there's lots you can do to help yourself. And this series of videos will give you lots of ideas to help you manage your memory. Areas we'll address will include how your memory works, paying attention and safe driving, coping with stress, lifestyle and well-being, how we communicate and stay in touch and lots of practical tips for helping your memory. Mild memory issues are more common than people realise as sometimes people are slow to talk about them. People are becoming more open about memory issues and are getting the help and support they need to manage well. Addressing memory issues early can be really helpful and can help prevent worries and difficulties building up. Information, advice and tips on memory can help you enjoy your life and be as independent as you can. So memory, what is it? Simply put, memory is recalling information that you've learnt or recalling experience that you've had. Two types of memory are long-term memory and short-term memory and it can sometimes be easier to remember things from a long time ago than it is things that happened more recently. For example, childhood memories can be very clear, but it can be more difficulty remembering things that happened yesterday. There are three stages involved in memory, taking in information, which is registration, and we need our vision and our hearing and attention for that. We need to store the information, this is retention, and then getting the information back when we need it, and this is retrieval. So what causes memory loss? For most people, minor memory lapses are a normal part of life and we all forget things every day. Sometimes we can forget things, it's because the hippocampus part of the brain is vulnerable to ageing. And for some people, changes in blood flow and circulation can occur in different parts of the body and this includes the brain and this will affect our memory. As we age, we're still well able to learn new things and enjoy life to the fullest. There are lots of things we can do to protect our memory and ensure that we can function as well as possible. Memory issues can also be due to illness or underlying health issues and stress or fatigue or hormonal issues. If you're having memory issues, a good health check is really important. Sometimes you'll hear memory loss referred to in different terms and one term you may hear is mild cognitive impairment and this is when your memory loss and thinking difficulties are greater than what you'd expect for a person of your age. There's many things you can do to help your brain work as well as possible. So what kind of things do you tend to forget? Possibly people's names, appointments, where you left something or medications and we'll discuss in video six practical tips to help with these areas. This video is a great starting place. If you're worried, we'd also like to encourage you to share your worries with your family or with a friend. And we'll discuss more about this in the upcoming videos. In the next video, we're going to talk more about the whole area of attention. And we're also going to address the area of safe driving.